हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा So all of us are here at this beautiful place, Govardhan Eco Village, which is one of the projects of His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Sila Prabhupada. So what is it that really touches the heart of a person when he comes over here? You know, first and foremost, he sees that there are so many people who have dedicated their lives just in order to connect themselves with nature and uh, preach the message of how it is so important to give back to nature what we have received all these years. So this is actually what is so inspiring for all of us to see. And if one looks at the way this place has developed over the last three years, one sees that it is possible for us to overcome the effects of Kali Yuga in this present day and age, when there is so much of contamination that is going around in the material world, particularly towards abuse of Mother Nature. So in this place, we are seeing that a lot of things are happening where there is emphasis that is being given on giving back to nature whatever we have received and trying to live in a way by which we are in harmony with nature. Some of the projects that we have begun over here, such as the organic farming, water conservation, and uh, these buildings which have been constructed out of eco-friendly material, are basically making people aware that it is possible to have a sustainable lifestyle based upon living with Mother Nature. Black is also rice, huh? Inside? Yes, yes. Not the rice. How, how, how can it turn black? <laughs> that, that is <laughs> that's good question. Naturally black. Yeah. Naturally black, bro. Naturally black, yeah. Mm -hmm. They boil that juice yes. in order to make this? Yes, they make it, make it here only. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just they yes, made it in the beginning of uh, January. Sure. When the new year was starting. Mm -hmm. They like uh, weed yeah. all the sugarcane production. Yeah. Yeah. And in uh, around like two weeks, they yeah. created Sorry. jaggery. Yes. So this is oh, that yeah. Jagri. Please, could you explain about the Gordon Eka village? What are the plans for the future and near uh, present things you are doing? At this point of time, we have a retreat center that has already been set up over here, where we have an auditorium, several classrooms, an amphitheater, and we have guest houses which could accommodate at any point of time between 50 to 70 people. Now, the next phase of our project we are going to be constructing over here a replica of the Vrindavan. So this would encompass 12 different forests 
Yamuna River and a small version of the Govardhan Hill. Twelve forests together. And each forest will have its own parikramas. So all the twelve forests are not in this area? No, this is just this is Gokul Mahavan. And on this side of the river, we run down. Okay. So we are now for the first phase we are only developing this much. Okay. Then we will go for the other forest. Rather good shampoo also we're gonna make. And uh, also we would be having within the Vrindavan forest uh, several places where devotees could congregate and uh, have uh, and give lectures or do kirtans which are basically called bhajan stalis. And uh, there would be the seven Goswami temples. Those are the prominent temples that we have in Vrindavan today. So all those temples will also be replicated in this Vrindavan forest. The Yamuna River, it's going to be almost 500 feet in length, 30 feet wide and 4 feet in depth. And uh, we are going to be having perennial water that will be circulating within this Yamuna River. And we are also going to be having the various ghats located along the Yamuna River, which is presently there in Vrindavan, such as the Keshi Ghat, the Kaliya Ghat and the Chir Ghat. So these are the three prominent ghats that would be there. So we are planning to collect actually rainwater, not to put extra artificially some extra water. But we will be planning to put a chamber where we can collect the water and then filter it and put it in the uh, ponds. Achha. So again, not to get into artificial things. Okay. Work out with the natural topography. And fill the regarding Govardhan, yeah. uh, there, there will be some real stones from Govardhan. No, Mara no. said we, we, we cannot can. pick up from that. But there are many mountains which look like Govardhan, which are around. We can, we can, Mara said we can get a couple of trucks ah. loaded from there ah, and yeah. give it actually exact look like Govardhan. <laughs> because we showed them, showed him Maharaj the local stones. He said they don't look like Govardhan. <laughs> <laughs> so it is uh, expected that people who would be visiting here would want to take bath in the Yamuna River and get the same amount of benefit that they would get when they actually take a bath in the Yamuna. They would be circumambulating Govardhan Hill and they would be circumambulating this 12 forests of Vrindavan. So by this endeavor to create Davan over here, this Govardhan Eco Village, we are giving a facility for everybody to come over here and get the same benefit that they would be getting if they were to go to the actual place called Vrindavan. Krishna, Krishna, Hare. Prabhu, uh, what is the mission of this village and are there any facilities for guests who come here and want to stay some time here and see the village and learn many things about village life? Is it possible? Yeah, the, the main purpose of setting up this place is to showcase that it is possible for us to live in a way by which we do not affect Mother Nature in a negative way and uh, as far as allowing, uh, as far as having the facilities for people to come and stay over here, of course we have a few guest rooms over here which can accommodate between 50 to 70 people at a time and uh, this place is located quite close to one of the important stations on the Western Railway which is Palgar from where one could take a rickshaw or a bus and come over here to this place. People who are nature loving, they would be particularly interested in coming and visiting this place. And of course, because we are going to be having Vrindavan located over here, it is also going to be a place of pilgrimage. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the is also <laughs> When you sit on this only you feel that life has become slow. <laughs>
and there are these trees their roots also go they also get into those soil beds and that actually cleans you know the solid waste is removed there mm -hmm. and it takes time this water is clean naturally through the soil bed and it comes out to the other side of the bed <laughs> Prabhuji, could you please explain about the temple, the style of the temple and what kind of deities will be there installed? So the temple is going to be made of stone. The actual Garbha Graha where the deities will be installed would be of stone and the surrounding area where uh, we are going to be having a capacity of around 1000 people who could be accommodated over there at any point of time. That would be uh, a normal concrete structure. but. Uh, the main temple would be 40 feet in height and we are going to have deities of Radha Krishna and Sriman Mahaprabhu who are going to be the presiding deities of the Govardhan Eco Village. The water the left portion is there, ah. it's like a prediction. Yeah. In this in Chapati. Yeah. We don't have prediction in Chapati. Ah. So this is a prediction. Oh, this whole structure is going to come up to that height? Yes, yes. this whole structure will be filled up Achha. and will come to that height. Okay. And Behind the, after this, behind this, yeah. there are the, all of us, the rooms and shops. Ah, that is going to be here. A big one. However, in order to make this happen, there is naturally a requirement of finances. And to this end, we have launched several schemes in order to allow people to adjust their budgets. And uh, in fact, at a very basic level, we have what is called as a per square feet scheme, where a person could donate just 5,000 rupees per square foot of the temple that is being constructed and um, in multiples of that or he could pick up any of this various small small areas that we have identified over here such as the Vrindavan forest we have 12 Vrindavan forests that are going to be developed over here we have seven temples seven Goswami temples that are going to be coming up over here or uh, place where a pastime of the Lord has taken place. So each of these areas can be uh, potentially taken up by a donor and uh, we could reciprocate by seeing how we can uh, give him a recognition of this uh, donation that he is making for that particular area that he wants to donate for. And uh, we have set up the scheme in such a way that a person could give this donation over a three year time frame. It is not necessary that he has to sign a check for the full amount on day one, but he could give it in installments in every month, or he could do it quarterly, or he could do it half yearly, or he could just do it by three checks each year. Every person who commits to this project in terms of finances would really be giving back to Mother Earth what is due back to her. And in my opinion, that is the responsibility for each and every one of us to ensure that in some small way, depending upon our ability, depending upon our capacity, we are doing what we can afford to do to help this most wonderful project of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, whose founder Acharya is A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Sila Prabhupada. <laughs> And uh, there, the brush is a bamboo stick which is cotton on, you know. This is the area where this, there's a Warli tribe who specialize in this painting. And they mainly describe, you know, these festivities, you know, crop harvesting, whatever description, they mainly around festivals. And they mainly use four types of these structures, the triangles, circles, straight lines and curved lines. <laughs> We will uh, cultivate it and the produce will go to the person who owns it. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. ये जिसे हस्ता वो रक्षा है वो चलाने राइस मूंग दाल सोया 
Ram 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 Ram